most important thing with Ludric is the burley. Ludric are a herbivore and they feed on a number of different things, but they love green weed. So what I'm doing first is just going through my weed and separating my bait from my burley, because we don't want to cut it all up, we'll have no bait left. And to that, I'm going to add soaked bread. So pick some nice stuff, nice long lanks that look good. So the rest of this I'm going to cut up nice and fine. I always find the burley is, is better if it's cut into real fine pieces. So we can add that to our bucket and our bread. And we'll move back onto the sand. Dig a nice hole first, pour our wheat in, and then slowly add sand and work it through the mix. Now you're probably wondering what the sand's for. Well, if you throw a handful of weed in the water, the weed will float along the top of the water. By mixing the sand and forming balls with the weed in the middle, it'll sink to the bottom and get right down nice and deep. When targeting Ludrick, it's also really important to set up the right rig. Today we're going to use a running float rig. First I grab a Shimano bait runner on a nice soft rod, spooled with six Kool-Aid braid as the main line. To this I add a small bead, followed by a stick float and another bead. If I don't put a little bead on there, all my tackle and my swivel and that will go up through the eyelet on the float. Now this is a running float, so I can travel up and down along the line. Next thing I do is add a swivel. Once we've got the swivel on, we want some fluorocarbon. Now I'm using the Snyder fluorocarbon, six pound, and I like a trace of about a metre. To that we add a very small hook. Now Ludric have got a very small mouth, so normally a short shank number eight is ideal. So once you've got your hook on, we come up around 300 millimetres to our first lead. And what I'll do is I'll add two leads to this to start with and then test my float. Now the next thing we do is we put a stopper knot on above that first bead you put on. If we don't add a stopper knot, everything will sink to the bottom. So simply tie that to your main line. Now I'm using a uni knot and there we have it. I have a knot on the line that I can actually slide up and down along the line and change my depth. So my float will run up, the bead hits a knot and it stops. Okay, so we just drop him in the water. The stopper knot comes into play against that bead. And I can see that's floating perfect. Just the stem of the float is showing, and that's all you want. I don't need to add any more lead or take any lead off. The time I put the green weed on there, when a Ludric takes the bait, there'll be no resistance, and that's exactly what you want. Well, what we're looking for is a nice weedy fringe where it comes out onto the sand. So yeah, just like here, yeah, you can see the dark weed in the background. So we position the boat half and half, yep. so we fish right on that edge. And uh, Ludric will be rolling around in the weed. Can't wait. Can't wait. Okay, let's get a little bit of burly going first, Paul. Okay, let me run you through, Paul, how to put the, uh, the weed on the hook. So you pick yourself a nice piece of weed. Yeah. Now what I tend to do is just lay it across my line, and I'll go around the, the line a few times. So the hook's at the bottom, yeah, and you're going around the, the top of the line. Top of the line. Yeah. And what I do is just gently slide. This looks nice here, we're, uh, like I said, we're out of the wind. And I've, I can see a few fish turning in the weed down there, so I think we're a good chance. We'll get a bit of burly going. Not too much. Remember, we don't overfeed them, and we've got that nice bait drifting down. The most important thing too, you want to keep the, the line nice and positive to your float. 
What happens in this fast run at times, you'll be feeding along and you'll get a big belly in your line. Your float okay. will go down, you'll lift your rod and nothing will happen because you, all you're doing is pulling the slack line in. Okay. So try and stay as positive as you can like that. Oh! <laughs> and um, and That's we're in. incredible. Yeah. Just came up right near the boat. Yeah. I'll put this one down, mate, and grab the net. Very important to fight these fish nice and slow. A lot of run in this water, I just don't want to pull that hook out for a chance of breaking the trace. Once you've got his head up, try and keep his head up. <laughs> yeah, Eat your big, veggies. Eat your veggies. You become a strong little fellow like this bloke. <laughs> so that's three fish, that'd probably do us. Oh mate, I'll tell you what, this is fun. I'm hooked, big time. Well, I'll tell you what, fishing for Ludriga Foster, it's fantastic. Paul's got a nice fish on here. We've got a couple of fish in the esky. I think it's time we head off. Hey, I'm not going home now. This is unreal. Well, we caught some absolutely beautiful Ludric. So I'm going to show you a lovely little recipe that I've made up. Ludric fillets on pavadella pasta with Mediterranean vegetables and lemon dressing. 
The first thing that we need to do is get our pasta in. This is our pappardella pasta. A lot thicker than, say, spaghetti, what you would normally get at home, but it's fantastic underneath fish. Soaks up that beautiful uh, dressing that we're going to put through there. We'll take this off. Now, plenty of salt goes into the water. Normally what we do, we have 10 parts water to, say, one part pasta. Straight in. Next thing we need to do is our crispy skinned Ludric. First thing we do is oil the skin, and then just using our hands, just rub that in. Next thing we need to do is put a little bit of sea salt on the top. What this does, it heats up really, really quickly in the pan and blisters the skin. Now we're just heating up our pan, just got to add our oil. So once that comes to temperature, I'm going to pop my fish in. What we do, we put them down skin side first, away from you, so you don't burn yourself. And again with the next one, as you can see they're starting to curl up. All we do is put a little bit of light pressure on there, you won't burn yourself, just so that these, the skin will actually cook evenly. I'm going to check our pasta. And that's looking great, that's perfect. Just have a quick lift of these fish fillets to have a look. They're looking fantastic. But turn our pasta off now, it's ready. These Ludric fillets are only very thin, so they won't take long to cook. So we're going to turn them over. And I'm actually going to turn the gas off completely because the residual heat in the frying pan will finish off cooking the fish. I'm just going to pop these to the side now. And we don't need to worry about those. Now the next thing we need to do is we start making our sauce. Now first of all we start off with a cold pan. I'm going to put some olive oil in here and this is to make our dressing. Next thing that we do is we put in some sliced garlic, very very thinly sliced. Now the reason why I've started off with a cold pan is because if we don't our garlic can burn. And what it's doing at the moment is just infusing that oil just nice and slowly. So we'll just stir that around. Now we've got a few ingredients that we're going to add here. What we've got, we've got some lovely capsicum, some red onions, I've got some sun-dried tomatoes, some olives, and I'm going to finish it at the end with some feta cheese and some parsley. Okay, that garlic's looking absolutely wonderful at the moment. So, what we're going to do now is add our onions and our capsicum just to give it a beautiful colour and sweetness to the dish. Next we're going to add our sun-dried tomatoes and some beautiful olives. And the next thing we're going to do is add our chilli, which I absolutely love. Just give this a little bit of a stir around. Lemon juice goes on. Just to refresh the dish. Now then, just get our pappardella pasta out. It's looking fantastic. I don't mind a little bit of pasta water in there. Just adds to the sauce. Just give this a little bit of a toss. We're going to add our feta. And our parsley, last thing, and the feta just melts into the, into the pasta. And as you can see, some absolutely fantastic, vibrant colours. Now we're just going to plate. Well, there you have it. Our Ludric fillets dressed up with Mediterranean-style pappardella pasta and lemon dressing. This is a